So name again? Or? Yeah. So I'm Ben Pink Dandelan. I'm a Quaker writer and teacher. Well, I first went to college to study hotel management,、um, but I was also very involved with a whole series of left-wing groups, and ended up dropping out of college and going to live at an anarchist peace camp. Now, anarchism is an ideology which is very much in favour of individual power that nobody nobody should have power over anybody else. And we were a group of you know great individualists in a sense living at this peace camp. We had different coloured hair, different hairstyles.、Uh, eventually, we we would all change our names to something rather ridiculous, like Pink Dandelion,、uh, as a protest at the way the father's name is always passed down. So I like to be called Ben, but my legal name is. Pink dandelion, and you know this was a deliberate ploy to try and、uh, come up with something that was, you know, again pushing against other people,、uh, defining who you will be. Well, I was. This was in the early eighties, and it was a, a year of great revolutionary hope in in Britain. We had a miners' strike on. We thought we had Margaret Thatcher on the back foot. You know, life was about protest. But after about eight or ten arrests and. You know, really not feeling we were moving forward at all. I began to think that there probably wouldn't be a revolution in England, and so at that point you give up a revolutionary strategy. The anarchist strategy had been to hope that everyone would withdraw their labour from the labour market and the system would collapse. And I looked for groups that were working within the system. I had known the Quakers because I had been to a Quaker school. Uh, and I, I found them again, as it were, and I saw there a group that was committed、uh, to peace, a group that、uh, didn't take votes, just as was true of the anarchists,、um, and who didn't have any fixed leadership, just like the anarchists. And I thought, well, here's a group that looks just a little bit like the anarchists, but working within the system. So I originally came along to Quakerism in terms of it being a peace group. And it was only later, when I had a powerful、uh, spiritual experience on a, on a Greyhound bus,、uh, that I really understood Quakerism. That I could begin to see the spiritual dimension. That meeting for worship made sense for me. That meeting for worship for business made absolute sense. And it was a different kind of process from the anarchist consensus. You know, we were being talked through、uh, in Quaker meeting in a way that just wasn't true in the anarchist、uh, campfire meetings.